Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. It's the last day. Do we have enough seats? Look at all these gorgeous girls. I'm surprised they're not putting us in according to our season. Oh, I can order. Then I'll be at the end. Big lonely. Big lonely. Should we move down, you guys? No, no, no. We're good. Oh, good. All right. So. We've got a bunch of fantastic Yellow Rangers. This is our first time doing a Yellow Ranger panel. We've never had this many Yellow Rangers all in one room at one time. So I'm super glad that you guys are able to make it. Let's go down the line here, introduce yourselves. Since, yeah, and, and, and we'll get this thing started. Go on. Hi, I'm Anna Hutchison. I play Lily Power Rangers Jungle Fury. Hi, I'm Deborah Estelle Phillips. I play Katie on Power Rangers Time Force. Yeah. Hi, I'm Serena Vincent, and I played Maya on Last Galaxy. Good morning, my name is Sasha Craig, and I played Kelsey Winslow on Lightspeed Rescue. Hi, good morning. I'm Tracy Lynn Cruz. I played Ashley on Power Rangers Turbo and Power Rangers in Space. Yeah. Hi, I'm C.R. Hannah. I played Gia, the Yellow Megaforce and Super Megaforce Ranger. Hey guys, good morning. Allison Kipperman Sullivan, Taylor Earhart on Wild Boars. Okay, now, these fantastic ladies, and I'm very unfortunate we couldn't get the, the male yellows to be here today. We tried. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, we're going to start with that, though, of sometimes it's very easy to get typecast and, to, you know, and Power Rangers is an action show. Did you ever have difficulties, you know, with, pe with people not thinking you were up to the task of the action? Did they, ever, did they ever have people thinking you couldn't do the stunts? Well, at the very start, I don't know about you girls, but Koichi, he gives you this training camp. So there's no option. It's like <laughs> either do it or you're out. And I reckon everyone's up for a challenge all the time, right? And it's kind of fun. All the stunties are really lovely. So they'll be hitting you and you're like, no, hit me harder kind of thing. But they're all lovely. Yeah, I, I found like uh, it was awesome. But what did you guys think? I struggled a little bit, let's face <laughs> it. They like to give me the musicals and uh, singing and dancing. But, you know, yeah, we did have our training camp, and I was down for the challenge. I, I was hurting in places I didn't know existed, <laughs> to be quite honest. Yeah, again, yes, uh, well said. Koichi and their team of sunk guys are amazing, and I, I didn't really ever feel like there was an option not to do something. Like, you know, we, I was excited to roll down hills and and do as many fight sequences as I could is it that they let us yeah absolutely does this work is yeah. this working there is this go. on okay Here. awesome is this one better hello better. okay there we go yeah <laughs> yeah so um I, I told this at the light speed rescue panel but I uh raced my stunt woman up uh, uh <laughs> up a rock to and I beat her so <laughs> I, I, I was up to the challenge. I was so excited to get paid to, to do stunts. I was like, yeah, I jumped out of a building the second day of work. So it was cool. <laughs> I, was, I was having the time of my life. Yeah. That's it. Yep. I'll also say one more thing. It's kind of awesome as well if you do Power Rangers kind of early on in your career because then any other job that Aww. you do, <laughs> you'd be surprised how many times characters get beaten up in shows, you know, like it's just run of the mill. So if you're kind of trained by Koichi at the very beginning, you're always just like, no, 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 I can do my own stunts. It's all good. It's all good. So we're putting people out of jobs because of Koichi. <laughs> <I guess>. Yeah. <laughs> It's true, I've said that a bunch of times. I was like 19 when I was on the show, and yeah. I got, go to another movie, and someone's like, are you, are you sure you're going to be okay? I'm like, I was a Power Ranger, I'm right? fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a line, I was a Power Ranger, yeah. trust me, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, I was considered just one of the guys. I mean, I got thrown in there, and Koichi, he saw no gender. He said, mm -hmm. this is what we're doing, and... This is, uh, there, there's no option. You either do it um, 
or that's it. I think I mentioned a while back um, when I was here in 2010, when we were, before we were even introduced, um, I had fractured my, my wrist doing um, some choreography and some stunts, but you know, you jump back in there, it's a part of the job, and um, it was, you know, Koichi's just like, okay, well, we won't do that one, we'll do something <laughs> else. So, you know, we had to work around it, but um, again, at the same time, for me, I was, I was the same way. I jumped in there and I wanted to do more and they had to pull me back and, yeah, maybe we shouldn't do that. I remember fighting in turbo doing the piranatrons and I had to do a, a one-two kick. I had to jump up and hit them, kick them, and I landed on my back. My foot got stuck in one of the chests and I landed on my back on the cement and knocked the air out of me. Koichi looks at me, you good? <laughs> All right, let's do it again. <laughs> moto, <That's> moto. <laughs> Welcome to Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah, they like to push you. They, want, they know what you're capable of. They're not going to make you do anything that they know you can't do or can't handle. Uh, so, because they train with you, they know your flexibility, they know your body, they know the way you move. So, they're not going to make you do something that's going to hurt you or damage you. Or, they're more confident in you than you are of yourself. So when you're doubting yourself, they're going to support you and keep pushing you forward to, oh, no, you can kick that high. Oh, no, you can do that. Don't worry about it. We have you. So they're very, very comforting in that way. So I, I liked being pushed and challenging myself in that. Did I miss the Starbucks run? <laughs> no. I didn't eat one? today or have any coffee, and I just didn't want to start falling asleep. Thank you, Joseph. I'm sorry that happened. <laughs> Um, well, me not being very flexible was a little bit rough, um, being, uh, being a Yellow Ranger, since they seem to like us, uh, Yellow Rangers really tough. Um, but I just remember, um, booking it, and I'd always played parts where I was kind of, um, very, like, the bitchy girl in school, or, you know, like, just kind of not the athletic girl. So when I got the part, I didn't even know that they were going to be beating us up like that and training us. <laughs> Did you guys know? I didn't know. Oh, yeah. Um, no, I didn't know. Um, <laughs> but the first day of our training, they start you off, and I'm sure they did with you guys. They, like, put you against a fence, and then they stretch you. Stretching's and hard. They, they really stretch they, you. And they it like hurts. Push they, down on you. They, you. They, they push down on you. They push your legs up places they've never been. And... Um, <laughs> I just went like, okay, this is happening. Um, but uh, I think, like I've told fans, and, and you guys probably think it's cool, to learn how to fall, mm -hmm. especially yeah. oh, when you wear heels, mm -hmm. to, to know how to uh, fall properly, thanks to Power Rangers. Woo! <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Yeah. That's well, right. Well, moving on from that, as I was saying, the Yellow Ranger, well, the common thread for all of them, we play different characters with different, you know, styles. The Yellow Ranger tends to be aggressive. Oh, yeah. not Lily. <laughs> Lily always found the, she always found the kindness. So, like, to me, because Yellow represents sunshine, right? Like, <laughs> it's light and stuff like that. So I, I feel like I, for Lily, for Jungle Fury, it's set well, because yellow is just calm. Oh, well, it's like nice and happy and stuff like that. And yeah. She wasn't so aggressive, but she did whip those boys around. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Katie was a beast. She, like, was the incredible Hulk. Maybe that's why I didn't do a lot of fighting, because I didn't have to. Oh, no, nice. Yeah, no, Maya was not, I, don't, I feel like, not aggressive at all. She was, like, intuitive and one with nature. So, yeah, that's, I, I wouldn't put that and aggressive together. <laughs> yeah, I think um, Kelsey was super bubbly, but if you messed with any of her friends, she was going to take you down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I agree. My character, Ashley, was very bubbly and somewhat got around with the, uh, the gentleman, <laughs> you know, really? um, but yeah, she liked to, she'll kick a, uh, she'll kick Wait, a butt or two. Wait, did you have like love storylines? I had a few, oh, did I love them? No, no, did you have like love, like I didn't. Uh, yeah, I had a, I had a few of them. You did? I didn't have any. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think it was yeah. the short shirts <laughs> and the short shirts that kind of gave away. Oh, <laughs> Uh, Gia was a tough girl. She was not bubbly. She was not ha 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 at all. Uh, 
When they actually casted me, they told me that Gia, well, the name Gia comes from Angelina Jolie um, in her movie Gia or yeah. something like that. Um, they wanted, they pretty much based my character off Angelina Jolie. Um, so they wanted her to be tough and like sexy kind of, but with, but not because it's Power Rangers. Uh, <laughs> but they want to be a tough girl. So uh, especially if you watch the first season, she's a lot more serious. You don't really see her spi smile much unless mm -hmm. you're like, right, yeah. And like I was forced to do that. Um, but second season, you'll see her, she softened up a lot because I brought more of CR to it because I'm very like sunshiny and yellow and I really, uh, but you'll notice, if you actually watch it, you'll notice the difference slightly in first season to second season, the difference I made with Gia. But she was definitely a tough girl for sure. Well, it's funny that we're sitting next to each other because you guys know there was nothing bubbly about Taylor Earhart <laughs> <laughs> at all. Uh, Koichi, uh, for the first, I don't know how many episodes, had me crossing my arms and punching my fellow rangers and um, just being downright sour <laughs> and angry. Um, uh, yeah, so, yeah, no. That Taylor was the time fun. that you didn't get your Starbucks, huh? That was. How did you know that? <laughs> God, she's, she's good. Okay, well, going back to what you said earlier about love interests, there's very few romance storylines on Power Rangers. I mean, Tracy, yeah. you were one of the few who actually kind of got one. Yeah, but, I was the whore. But, <laughs> but with me here, most of you, would, if you could have had your character had a romance, or if you wanted your romance to go differently for some of you, how, how would that have gone? Oh, what if Lily hooked up with the die she? That would have been out of control. <laughs> well, yeah, you get the full spectrum. The absolute psycho crazy wants to take over the world and then kill him with kindness. So yeah. meet in the middle. I think that'd make a fun little baby. But uh, if you're going down that track, like how far are we going? Um, as far as you want. This is your okay. panel. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. No, I don't know, though. I feel like... They were so busy fighting the world, getting their Paishwa mastered, and like it was all so much happening. And then a lot of people say, like the Disney one, you, you can't do much uh, kissing and making out on the Disney show. <laughs> I don't know. So, Not yeah. on set. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ew. Oh. What? There's dressing rooms. Yeah. I don't know. We'll save that one for after this panel. <laughs> it's an after dark panel <laughs> at 11 a.m. So no, um, there was no trip in Katie. I, I know that Why? some of you might. <laughs> no, there was he. It, little brother. I mean, Katie. I don't think they saw her as somebody that. I mean, she was pretty. Oh, I. I don't think she was interested in that type of romantic thing. She was too busy throwing men out of cars. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't think she was tripping on <laughs> men. No pun intended. <laughs> so yeah, like, as I said before, Maya was super sweet and intuitive. And um, Now, I got this from fans. Some of you guys have told me that you thought it would be interesting if Maya and the Magna Defender got together. Ooh. Now, we don't know where he is. Russell, if you're out there. <laughs> no, seriously, we don't know where he is. We, do, we seriously don't know where he is. So, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. We are losers, sorry. <laughs> we, we had parking issues, we're so sorry. So sorry, we had parking issues. Good morning. Good morning. We're just talking about uh, if uh, we hooked up with any of our fellow rangers in our series, who we hook up with. Dun, dun, dun. Good time to arrive, girls. Welcome. <laughs> do I have to answer that question now? Yes, we all do. Who would you want me to hook up with? <laughs> Billy? Who else? <laughs> all great. Adam? Really? <laughs> Adam, Billy, I'll take them both. Thank you. <laughs> She was the, the no, no, I, I, I think she was probably kind of sweet on Chad, but I think she also, I know, ew, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
But yeah, I think she, they were just really good friends. Uh, uh, she was trying to help him come out of his shell, and I, I think they were just trying to help each other out. They were just friends, yeah. Aww. yeah. No love. No, no, no. Yeah, Chad had some exotic fish love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You okay, guys already know my dirty yeah. laundry, so. <laughs> Uh, Jake and Gia, that's me. Um, uh, I would have changed, me and Azim would both agree uh, we would have changed ours or done stuff differently. We weren't, right, the first episode that kind of established Jake and Gia, Jake obviously is obsessed with Gia, and they wrote that in every pamphlet. Gia's description was, oh, tough girl, Jake has a crush on her, and that's it. Uh, that's me. <laughs> um, but we weren't, a, they established it that we had a relationship Well, we liked each other. Um, and they were afraid that it would progress too quickly for Nickelodeon. So they really downplayed it. And so when you guys see looks or anything between me and Jake, that's me and Azeem doing that because we thought it was unfair that it got established. And we weren't allowed to do anything with it. So in the last episode, you see like Gia actually gives in, gives him a kiss. That's me and Azeem doing that. So it kind of sucked because we were... We were told that that was a thing, and we got casted that way. We tested together, we had really good chemistry together right away, so we were definitely casted to be a couple. It just, with writing and the way it went, and uh, politics and the industry and everything, it just didn't get, it didn't fully become what we all would have liked. So maybe me and G and Jake are at Froyo right now, having a fun old time. Maybe, you know, marriage in the future, we don't know. But yeah, so that's what I would change is, more, more hand-holding and more Froyo dates. Um, well, so with our Time Force team up, right? Which was awesome. So, right, so Taylor and Eric, right? I've had, I've had lots of you guys tell me you wrote scripts and, you know, tell us how many kids we had together. And I'm like, how did you guys get that from, like, like a little flirtation, but I guess, I guess, you know, we had good chemistry together, but I don't know, thinking about Dan and I, I'm just like, you know, he's like a brother, I'm like, okay, but hey, sure, so that's our, our love. Oh. Hi! <laughs> Sorry, we're late, it's Karen's fault. <laughs> I, you know it's mine. <laughs> Had to throw, her, throw it over to her, but it, it, it's my fault. Um, I'm Tanya, by the way, sorry. Um, well, you know what, it's funny, because I always asked if Adam and Tanya ever got together. I get asked that all the time, and, and were, was, it a, you know, was there a relationship? Were they alluding to a relationship? I think they alluded to it, but nothing ever happened. Um, is that the question? Yeah. That came in at the end, okay. Okay, then great, yeah. Well, would you have changed that? If, if you had your way, if they would have bowed the scripts to you, what would you have done? Oh. Well, I think that that would have been really cool because it, I think the focus uh, was always on the pink and, and Tommy. Well, pink and Tommy. <laughs> yeah, there you go, pink and Tommy. <laughs> Amy Jo and then it was Kat. And, so it would have been great to have other, you know, the yellow and the green or the yellow and the blue or the yellow and whoever. Um, yeah, I think it would have been great if, if there would have been something a little bit more. Okay, so as many of you saw yesterday, they announced a brand new cast. So, in general, what advice would you give to a new Yellow Ranger taking, you know, for a new season? What advice would you wish you had? I would say take the spandex home. My only regret is that I didn't steal enough stuff, and I should have. <laughs> Take heaps of photos with you in the costume. Everything they say, don't do, do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, same. I, I, think, I think the answer is the same. I mean, we just, you don't get to keep that stuff. Like, you know, it's property of the show, so steal it. <laughs> so one Does time, it's, 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 it should be okay for you to steal. You, if you have to wear spandex, I mean, come on. That's like, it's nasty. you earned it. Yeah, and you're sweating. That's yeah. your sweat in that toy, toy oh, clothing. But yeah. get this, I, well, when I came on the show, I replaced someone, and so the suit I put on, 
her name was in it. All they did was shorten the legs. That's all they did. I had the same suit. No, it's okay. I actually, I actually felt honored because, you know, obviously she was huge. She was a legend. She was hugely popular. So I felt honored to wear that suit. Um, but yeah, I wish I would have stole it. Like you wear it, it's mine. Yeah. It's like underwear. You don't share underwear. <laughs> you just don't. Yes. Right? <laughs> I was gonna say be in the moment, but you're right. Just steal stuff. <laughs> steal stuff. Steal stuff. Props. Anything. Steal it. Oh, I'd say if they say that, oh, you're gonna be in there another year. <laughs> you're gonna be included in the in the next year or whatever. Don't believe them. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. If, <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh yeah, you guys are gonna do all this stuff. I don't know. Oh, and um. If you sign like these release forms, like don't go snowboarding, don't do anything fun, don't go skydiving, just don't do it because you get caught. I, I got caught. Oh, troublemaker. <laughs> Did you go skydiving? I went, um, I, I was on the chair uh, in Whistler going up the mountain, and the, um, the, the, the Saban from Canada was on oh the God. chair with me, and they're like, <gasps> Like, I'm just like, hi, hi. And then they, I got in so much trouble when I got home. <laughs> yeah. What did they do? I was going to say, what are they going to do? Fire oh, you. So but they have done that. So yeah, don't listen to me. Yeah, yeah. Don't I listen thought it was to me. They hold a peace conference. Right, right. Yeah. All, of a sudden, all of a sudden, there's a trip to the peace conference. It was and you never are seen again. And they're like oddly shaped people pretending to be you. It was such so. baloney because, like, like, uh, Sean was allowed to surf and stuff. I was like, he's allowed to surf? Why can't I snowboard? Double standard. I totally. totally. They're like, girl, yeah. can't do it. I don't know. But yeah, they yeah. let us do anything. Yeah, I got Steal. caught. Steal. <laughs> <Steel. laughs> so my advice for the next Yellow Ranger, in my opinion, I would say Spanx. <gasps> oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. That's what I would have done. If I would have known then what I know now, because those suits show everything, those spandex. You looked amazing. Look at Come you. on. Oh Judge. no, I would have, I would have worn Spanx. <laughs> they were Spanx. Spanx. I'm just Spanx. saying. Well, they're very, yeah. yeah they're, they're very. I just would have worn something underneath. <laughs> uh, well, the new Yellow Ranger is a boy, so. Oh. So I'm gonna say respect women. And he has some trouble catching up with us, so. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. I'd say stay away from craft service. Uh, yeah. Because. Um, it's so hard because you, you need energy and you get hungry and, and everything. Yeah, looks but so then good. your costume starts to get tight and they I start know. telling you you're looking hippie, so they That's change where it. That's Spanx comes in. You like come. <laughs> Wait a you like come back what? from. Yeah, I, well. I, you guys saw that my costume, you know, I'm an Air Force pilot. I would never untuck my shirt, right? That looks sloppy. And I came back and they took my hair down and they pulled out my shirt. And, and I was like saying, you know, I, I don't think Taylor would ever look sloppy like this. Well, you're looking hippie. So wow. stay away from craft service. That's I, what I would tell them. I blame the sodium and catering. Ignore. It's just, it's just watery. How, wait, how fat was the person who told you that you were looking happy? Right. How, well, how were their hips? Well, I like, no, mate, did you know Danielle? Did you know Danielle? Don't tell anyone they look hippie. That's not cool. That's not cool. That's not cool. <laughs> Next to Jessica, who wouldn't look hippie, right? <laughs> Sorry, but she was oh, this no, big. That's okay, yeah. It's Sorry. She's still tiny. She's still I would perfect. say, yeah. just to anyone on set, I would say appreciate each moment. Yeah. Um, remember your moments. Take as many pictures as possible. That is one thing that I, I didn't do when I was on set. I don't, I can't, I have to look at all of the other pictures that were taken by other people. Um, and I wish that I would have done that because now I, I would be able to show my kids, well, this is when I was doing this and this is when I was doing that. I would just, I would appreciate it a little bit more and I would have taken a lot more photos. So that would be my advice to any ranger. I do that. You, that's really good. You know, to piggyback uh, like off of that, because that's kind of where I was going to go, but then I was like, this is getting good. <laughs> I'm like, wow, you guys are keeping it real. Yeah. yeah. But you know, as a ranger, 
yellow, pink, ye brown, whatever you want to be. <laughs> I would say, just for the next ones going in, understand that you are a role model for life. Look at 15 years later, you guys are here and you remember me. I mean, I'm like thinking you're, you're a power ranger forever, right? Once a ranger, always a ranger, right? So it's, it's about embracing that opportunity to change lives. I've heard such amazing stories throughout this weekend alone that will bring me to tears when I get home. Mm -hmm. But it's just, it's, a, it's an honor to, to be in that position. So yeah, on that note, I just had to shake it. Agreed. So, before we open up the questions from, from the audience, I want to ask you, let's be positive. What was your most fun experience on set? The thing that you go back to remind you how awesome it was for that brief time when you got to be a Power Ranger. What? Oh, okay. I was like, um, I mean, there were so many. I mean, you. I mean, you're there. You're there more than you are home. You know, and it's like, um, especially in, in in the Mighty Morphin era. That, you know, we there were tons and tons and tons of episodes, and we did the movie. And um, I, I mean, I would think the movie is so memorable because it was like my first time out of the country, and it was my first time traveling abroad and 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 living. Like we lived in Sydney for six months. Like it was. I mean, you're anywhere for six months. You you know the grocery store. You know where to go get your clothes washed. I mean, it's like you got to, you know, just accept the fact that you can't go home. We were too far from home, and you can't just call your family. So, I mean, I think that was the coolest part of it, just because it was kind of like we, um, we had come on the show maybe a month before, but that was the moment we were all, like, secluded in Sydney, and we got to know each other. We actually became friends, I believe, in that six months, because we were all we had. So that had to be the best part. Yeah, I'd say um, all that time offset was amazing because you just got to listen to music, have a laugh and stuff like this. But there's one episode that we did and it was Elgin, Jace, David and I, so RJ, Theo, Casey and me. We were sitting around and it was about 90 degrees in the studio. It was so hot. We're all wearing too much uh, Jungle Karma pizza outfit. And we'd eaten about 20 pizzas each. And this line that Casey says is, whoa, this is so, whoa, whoa, cheesy. And every time he said it, like someone would put something in their mouth and it would just, it, I laughed so hard. Everyone was laughing way, 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 way too much. And uh, now I still can't. Like if anyone, if ever I'm filming a scene with someone eating food and stuff like this, I always think, dude, just don't even put it to your mouth because you've got 30 more takes. I just did it two weeks ago. I started cracking up. I'm, this guy, it's his close up, and he's just like, mm -mm, not cool in it. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> so whoa, whoa, cheesy. So, anyway, it's ruined me for life, but that was definitely one of my favorite moments. Oh, wow. You know, I, as much as I wasn't like the fighter on my season, I loved the uh, pyro and the explosions. <laughs> Oh man, like it, it, the heat of that thing and just like the dramatics, like, oh, like you don't even have to act. You're just like, boom, in the moment. I just love that. I was always like, yeah. And they would, they knew I liked it too. So they're like, okay, we'll, we'll, put, Katie, we'll put Katie right here, right by like the fire. Boom. I'm like, oh, all this drama. I just love that. That was my favorite. It's so much fun. Yeah. What's that? Oh. Oh, he has it on. He has footage. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> like, I'll open a can of worms. <laughs> so my favorite part of the show, it, it wasn't a specific episode. It was just, a, in, in general, the relationships and bring, like, I've, you know, I got to meet lifelong friends. And I had no idea then that, like you, I think you said, that we'd be sitting here 17 years later talking about it. And, um, and this is sort of like a reunion for all of us, individually and collectively. And... Um, um, I think we're all together in this. Like, if we didn't have you, we wouldn't have this. And so I really feel grateful to have been brought into this Power Ranger community. Because we are one. So I think my most exciting moment with Power Rangers was when we did the movie for McDonald's. And we got to do, like, this premiere in um, Brentwood. And we drove in with the... With the rescue rover and it was just really exciting and you, we had all like we got to see our show on a big screen tv and 
I know it's kind of corny, but <laughs> <laughs> it was really, really cool. And then Universal Studios was awesome because they had the pyrotechnics coming out behind you, and we got to answer questions just like this on stage, and that's really, really exciting. And then one last part. I'm sorry. So there's three parts. <laughs> the other part that was like really, really amazing, like in a different way, was meeting the Make a Wish Foundation kids, mm -hmm. because we get these children. Oh my gosh, that their last wish is to come and meet you. Mm -hmm. And so I remember, um, I remember like we made this child uh, an honorary uh, rescue ranger and he was just so like, he was so excited and gave him a kiss on the cheek and he was just, <coughs> and you're just like, wow, it's such a crazy, crazy feeling that you could, you could make somebody feel so good. So just <laughs> Yeah, I concur with what you're saying. That was amazing, the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Just to brighten up a child knowing that their final wish or is to be with you or is to see you. It's, there's no feeling um, like that. Also, um, piggybacking off of um, some of the other rangers, the um, pyro. Oh my goodness, amazing. I mean, that that's in the moment, it's crazy. We, in uh, Countdown to Destruction for In Space, those were incredible. Also, when we were switching over um, from Turbo into Space, I know I'm going backwards, but amazing. It, it was just incredible. Um, anytime we had fight scenes, those were all memorable those are great I mean you just always look forward when you get the script you look forward and where's the fight scene I want to see who, where's the fight scene and and you just those are the best scenes I'm sure that you guys can agree the fight scenes are, are amazing and not just the ones in the helmet I'm talking the civilian fight scenes those are so exciting so um, yeah those are the ones I look forward to I have two parts uh, my first would be because we filmed in New Zealand, so we're all from US, like American peeps. Um, so going to New Zealand and just having each other, so we, all five of us, and then Cameron came later on, our Silver Ranger, um, which he practically lived with us anyway, but we all lived together in one house. We worked together, we hung out together, and we're in a different country, so that's we're all we know. We don't know anyone except people on, on set and they're sick of us, so they don't want to hang out with us afterward. <laughs> Uh, so we, that's all we did. So we got super, super close. We're like family. And so even to this day, we still like get together all the time, have barbecues and stuff. So I really got a good, like um, solid bond with those people. And I appreciate that so much. Um, other part is our legendary battle, which was so much fun. Uh, so cool. I'm telling you, when you see a quadrillion colorful suits just standing in front of you, you're like, what? So that was a really cool moment, and having like the past rangers, and you need to meet them, and it was kind of surreal in a way, like, we used to watch you, oh my god, like, you kind of fangirl the whole entire time they're there, and like, oh yeah, I'm cool, oh my gosh, like, we're freaking out. So that was really cool, and I felt like I'm, they kind of like, they're very, we're a very warm people, so like, once you're a ranger, you become part of this giant family, and that was kind of like, um, uh, it just reminded me of that, that this is actually a really big family. That's cool. You're not just another castmate. You're like, hey, 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 sister, brother, aunt, uncle, whatever. So, you know. Okay, bye. <laughs> Many of uh, the answers were part, part mine. So, <laughs> so you're going, what am I going to say? Um, the fight scenes, some of my fight scenes, I just went, I never in a million years thought I would be able to uh, do something this cool. So I love doing that, and of course, working with the cast. And, um, but my most favorite thing, having been a Power Ranger, um, is hearing you guys say that um, watching my character uh, helped you through hard times, or helped you when you were being bullied, or helped you, or inspired you to be more confident and stronger, or helped you view women as stronger um, and intelligent and powerful and to me that's just I mean that just 
fills my heart and makes me really proud. So that's mine. I will be really quick because I see that this line is very long. Thank you guys for having questions, by the way. A um, couple memorable things. Uh, when I got the call that I booked it, I was like, <laughs> and I called my parents. That was just off the chain. When I stepped into the command center for the first time, I remember standing there on set and just thanking the Lord Jesus for this opportunity. And I was just like, oh my gosh, Jesus, thank you. <laughs> yes. Um, and then make a wish, blessing, absolute blessing. And then my first convention. And every convention after that, when you guys come up to my table and you tell me what a difference Tanya has made in your life or what Power Rangers in itself, how it helped so many people um, stand up to bullying or get into martial arts or make decisions about their, their life and their journey and their path and everything. So you guys have made this happen, so thank you. Okay. So, we're running out of time. There's a long line. You can ask a question of only one of, the, of our lovely Yellow Rangers. So you can't ask for everyone, otherwise we'll be here forever. Because, <laughs> so pick Don't one, pick or if you don't know who to ask, just say it and someone will, will pipe in. Well, first of all, thank you all for being here. It's, it's just been such a privilege to get to see you over the years. And Sasha, thank you for coming for the first time. It's been such an honor to have you. <laughs> It's truly, it's fantastic to, to see you all again. For whoever would like to respond, I was just curious, I mean, we have our favorite aspects of your characters. Do you have a single favorite aspect or moment from your character from the show? And thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Dad. Thank you. Favorite part? Uh, favorite aspect of the character? I think just for uh, my season, you know, it was early, like Power Rangers was brand new. So having the fact that there were two women on the team and they, were the heroes as well. They weren't the victims, they weren't being saved. They saved the day, they were smart, they were tough. You know, there were times in the script where, you know, it took the team to do it, but they were a vital part of the team. So for me, it was so important to have strong, you know, females. And I thought that that was one of the things that Power Rangers did, and it was ahead of its time, having these women, um, or having young girls, and having young girls, having someone for them to look up to. You know, we didn't have to be the one that was rescued. We were rescuing the boys, like, on 50% of the shows, <laughs> you know? So, I, yeah, so for me, I think that's probably one thing we probably all share. We were all heroes, you know? Not supporting cast, we were heroes. Word. Yep. Yep. Word. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hi, I'm Cassandra. I'm from Boston. Um, I, I was going to ask this of all of you, but I, I have to go with Ciara. Um, just because I, I loved Gia so much. She was my second Ranger costume just because she blew me away from the I first know, episode with yesterday. how strong she is. Um, so of all the Yellow Rangers you got to morph into, which team were you most excited to, uh, to take over? I'm going to look to my right. Well, In Space was my favorite season, so Aww. you were my favorite. <laughs> I'll slip you that 20 now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Amanda. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I was going to ask this for all of you, but now I can't pick between you guys. You guys are so awesome. <laughs> So this will go out to anyone who wants to answer. Um, what's like the best traits of being a Yellow Ranger? Ooh. Oh, man. Best traits? Yeah, like I think that um, like the Yellow Ranger, they're kind, they're caring, um, they're sexy. loyal. Sexy. sexy, yes. They're loyal to their friends. Strong. I think tough as well. I think, I think the Yellow Ranger is, is pretty tough. Mm -hmm. I mean, not that the Pink Ranger isn't, because she is as well, but I think, I think there's a, a, a toughness to the Yellow. I think the Yellows are better. Let's go on with that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. We're the girl next door, right? We're, we're not the girl next door. We're the sassy, you know, oh, yeah, one. Yeah. So I think that's... I think everybody needs a Yellow Ranger in their life. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Be speaking. All right, we got your back. Yeah. Next question. Thank you. I like what my friend said. We're we're, 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 we're the sunny. We're, we're sunny. We frighten, right? I like that, friend. I do. 
Hi. So as most of you up there know, I love me some Yellow Rangers. Yeah. And it's because you as actors are the fierce ones. And I think as we saw today, you tell it like it is. And some of you are troublemakers, Deborah. <laughs> but, <laughs> so as we talked about though, there are some male Yellow Rangers out there and we got yeah. a brand new one. So do you it's think fun. the males can hang with the girls or Obviously. can they not handle this? Well, the other thing of the yellow one is they're kind of inclusive, right? So they're not going to be like, yell, stick away. Like, they'll include you in, I think, but they'll make sure that you can kind of battle with us, you know? Like, they got to yeah. prove yeah. themselves. It wouldn't yeah. be ranger right? like if we didn't support right. another yeah. ranger, male or female, yeah. right? That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Hello, ladies. My name is Andrew. Uh, I obviously, I'm pretty sure if they ever did a Forever Yellow episode, I'm pretty sure all of you would say yes in a heartbeat. Uh, but this question is more for Nakia. Wait, is your name pronounced Nakia? Is that, am yes. I pronouncing that? Okay, thank you. I feel like an idiot for asking you that. It's so. Nakia. Oh. I'm kidding. <laughs> you said it right. Uh, yes, uh, but, for, <laughs> but for Nakia and Tracy, I mean, you two were two Yellow Rangers. Which one would you choose if you had the choice to be in Forever Yellow? Which Ranger, which Yellow Ranger would you be? Uh, Zio. <laughs> awesome choice. I'm sorry, I didn't understand. I didn't understand. Oh, the excuse me. Uh, so, if you, so Tracy, if you had a choice between if, to be in Forever Yellow, between Yellow in Space or Yellow Turbo Ranger, which one would you be? Oh, in space. In space. For sure. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's just me. I think we need some more AC or some fans in here because this room is scorching hot. <laughs> It's because you got the Yellow Rangers up here that it's hot. That's right. Uh, guys, thank you all for coming, and uh, thank you all for you know, being you guys and doing what you do. Um, so for being in New Zealand, you know, it's a beautiful country. What was like, your favorite fun thing uh, to do in New Zealand when you weren't shooting? Thank you, guys. You can, you can I'm go from New there. Zealand, bro. Yeah. Kia ora. Woo. Uh, we got a Kiwi in the house. So guys, thanks for all joining us in New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. No, for me it was really awesome because you've got the best job ever. It's summertime in New Zealand in Auckland where I'm from. So I was like 10 minutes from my mum or from home and you're there. But if you ever go to New Zealand, which I would absolutely suggest, go to Waiheke. It's a gorgeous island. Uh, that was my favorite. I would go there yeah. all, like every time I had a chance, I was in Waiheke. Yeah, mm. and then uh, Auckland's really little, like all of New Zealand is, so you can get around for two weeks. Here I'm like Tourism New Zealand over here. <laughs> um, you should go to Rotorua, see the Māori people. Uh, it's very cultural in New Zealand, which is fantastic. There's black sand beaches, white sand beaches, delicious food, good people. Yeah. Yeah. Can, yeah. Can't you just listen to Anna talk all day long? Her voice is so beautiful. Oh, I like that voice. I just want to hear you talk. Hi, I'm Sarah. Hi, Hi. Sarah. You guys helped me through so much because I was bullied. And because of my fragile ex, and people thought, I'm sorry. It's okay. You'll be okay. All good. Take a breath, girl. I'm sorry, just don't no, be you're, sorry. You're all good. You're all good here. What was your favorite episode? Cause like I think my, I think mine was like 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 like, the, like when um, Cole was reading the uh, rule book, and you go, "Where's the rule book?" And you go, and he goes, and Cole's like, there's too many rules. And you're like going, there's too many rules. <laughs> yes, too many. Okay, by the way, so I was bullied for seven years by the same girl. And I got a stutter, and I had a terrible time. So I'm sorry. Yeah, it makes me sad. And, and, and I'm sorry, because I'm a Pisces, so if someone else cries, I, I tend to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I had a t no, me too. <laughs> but this girl bullied me and so I'm so sorry because being mean to other people is really lame. So just so you know, it's just not cool. Sorry. So what I, was your I'm so sorry. Uh, thank you. But you know, just so you, you know, just because we are rangers doesn't mean that, you know, we didn't have 
rough times too. So we are there for you, and thank you for sharing your feelings with us. We yeah. so appreciate it. Yeah, and you know what? How cool, how cool is life? When you were a little kid and you were sitting, you were running home after school every day wanting to watch Power Rangers, how cool is life that we're all in the same room together? And that, Woo! you know, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. So with, with the bad comes a lot of good. Yeah. It's always half full, you know? Such a beautiful thing. Hey everyone, I'm Richie from New York. Hi, Hi Richie. Uh, any, any Zio fans here? Yeah. Woo! Uh, I just had a question. Uh, one of the most pivotal episodes. Uh, it's called "Another Song and Dance." Well, Do you have a question? Yeah. <laughs> what was that like? And uh, and and when were you kind of fed up with the whole singing thing? <laughs> That was so much fun. But I have to tell you, JDF was so nervous. He was, so, he was like, I can't sing. We're like, you don't have to sing. You're not, I mean, you don't have to be a professional singer, just sing. But then when he started, you, he wouldn't stop. I kid you not. We would be at craft service. He'd be like, Nakia, do you want this? And I'd be like, no. We, were sing we got on the cruise nerves. I kid you not. It was, it was so much fun, though. It was so much fun. I think we turned it off the next day. Awesome, thank you. All right, thank this will you. Be, this will be our last question. We're running out of time. Hey, I'm Etienne. I'm from Rialto. First of all, what time is it, guys? It's, it's morphin, morphin time! time. Oh, I just always oh, wanted to say that. <laughs> I'm always ready! Right. Yes. Well, my question is for anyone who, wanted to, who wants to answer. Um, sometimes when you guys are on the show, you have a, a lot of yellow on. Did you ever want it to switch up the, the warp world to kind of put on a different color to kind of confuse the audience? Like, hey, I'm red and I'm the leader for today or something like that. I wanted to at least change outfits. So. <laughs> I, uh, you guys can answer. I only had one outfit. So. Yeah. I had to wear like a leather bra and a leather skirt. Like that was my outfit. It was, I felt very exposed Woo! every single day. I would have liked like a hoodie every now and then or something. I never complained about that outfit, by the way. Never. <laughs> never, a, never a complaint. After the show, I did not wear yellow for a very long time. <laughs> you know what time force, we had those cool white time force you know, uniforms, so we didn't really have a color at that point, and then of course we, you know, wore the same outfit for the rest of the year. All right, wow. so unfortunately we're out of time. Thank well, you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Now, before we, before we wrap things up, everyone, I have a quick announcement from the convention. Power Morphicon is having a charity auction for Make-A-Wish in the exhibit hall at the Power Morphicon booth Saban so Brands donated some things. We have some things from my personal collection. We are, set, we are having a charity auction. You go over there, you write down how much you're willing to pay for these things. Please support Make-A-Wish. As everyone's been saying, it is a fantastic charity that helps children. Please check out the auction. And now let's say Thank one you. last goodbye to our beloved Yellow Rangers. Woo! Come see us at our booth. We want to see you. It's the last day of PMC, so I expect hugs from all of you. Bye. Nakia. Thank you. Nakia. Thank you. Nakia.